I'm Chef Asita with Georgia Organics, and we are living La Vida Okra for National Farm to School Month. Join me and some of my okra-loving friends as we share our okra stories and favorite okra recipes. Hi, my name's Matthew Rayford. I am uh, affectionately known as Chef and Farmer, Chef Farmer Matthew. Um, I located in Brunswick, Georgia. I'm also on the board of directors for Georgia Organics. I have a new book out. It's called Breast and Yam, which means bless and eat in Gullah Geechee. So we're gonna talk for a few minutes about the blessing of okra. I am living la vida okra. A lot of people don't like okra for its sliminess, like the mucusy, uh, that, that happens. I'm one of those cats. I don't like it at all like that. So I've always liked like fried okra, okay? Or I like roasted okra, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I like okra and gumbo also when it's done correctly, kinds of things. So let's talk about that okra that's being roasted, okay? Because that's what I'm doing here. So we're talking about pan in an oven, nice and hot, just the pan just the pan okay and you want that you want that pan to get so hot that you hear it kind of pop in the in 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 the uh in the ovens it's it's, it's going to make a sound when it gets to that perfect temperature while that's happening you need to get yourself a bowl get your ingredients in there the uh all the spices the olive oil if you want to squash some lemon on top if you want to add balsamic vinegar, whatever your thing is that you like to taste with okra, get it on there and get it tossed really well. And then once you hear that pop, the oven is ready, the, that pan is ready. Open the oven, pull your rack out, not your pan. Pull your rack out towards you. Let the pan just sit there and very quickly pour your bowl over, allow all the okra to hit with all the spices, push the rack back in, and shut the door. Now, how do we know that it's ready, right? Because it went on something super, super hot, like 400, 450 degrees. What you want to do is, if you have a light in your oven, turn it on. If you don't have a light in your oven, check it in about three to four minutes. And then the little spine areas, of like those little areas that are on the okra like that, should get called GBD, which is golden brown and delicious. Once that happens, Pull that okra out and go yummy. You gotta enjoy it. It is the most amazing thing. That Roasted okra. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees, then put a sheet pan in the oven. The pan will heat up while we prep our okra. Place your okra in a bowl. And we're going to add the zest of one lime. I'm pressing the lime and rolling it so we can get more juice out of it in just a minute. I'm gonna use this hand grater to get the zest off of the lime. There we go. It's gonna give us some nice citrus notes. Okra actually pairs well with citrus. Other citrus fruits would be lemons and oranges. Okay, once we get our zest in, I can cut the lime open and squeeze in about two tablespoons of juice. Look at all that lime juice. Nice. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of our oil. We've got some olive oil here. And we're gonna season this up with some smoked paprika, cayenne pepper, and a little salt. Stir all of that together. And let those flavors meld for just a few minutes while our pan is getting hot. Then we're gonna transfer our okra to that hot sheet pan. 
All right, now that our pan is hot, we'll carefully remove it from the oven. Transfer our okra to the sheet pan. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. And it goes right back into the oven for about 10 minutes. Remove the okra from the oven. Ooh, look at that. It's got a beautiful caramelization, some nice char happening. And your okra should be tender but firm. It should not be mushy. It should have a nice texture to it. And at this point, it is ready to serve. Gonna give it a little squeeze of lime and plate it up. Because we left this okra whole, it's not gonna be slimy. Roasting it also helps to dehydrate it a bit. And we've got these wonderful smoky notes of the smoked paprika and the cayenne. Look at that beautiful red color. Nice little glaze, if you will. And this okra is ready to go. There you have it, roasted okra. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you check out these links and resources and keep living La Vida Okra. Hey, B.